page orientation is just basically taking the page. If you think of an 8.5 by 11 and you hold it straight up and down so it's longer vertically, think of the orientation when you're taking it and flipping it sideways. For example, up here in the page layout group, you see the different orientations. There's an 8.5 by 11 straight up and down. And then if you flip it sideways, the orientation is horizontal, so you got more space horizontally than you do vertically. So if you're running out of space and you can't fit everything in, and you can see my page break here is between J and K, I mean, I'm fine with it portrait. It gives me the page break right here. But if I have, like, let's say, let's click on this and copy it, click on column J and paste it, click on column K and paste it. Let me double click and open up. So, and of course you can see I'm, I'm also pasting the formula and that's why it's getting larger and larger here. But in any case, my point is, if you're running out of space, let me hit the escape key to get rid of the marching ants. That you can change this from a vertical orientation to a horizontal by clicking on the drop down arrow and selecting landscape. Well, two things happen. First of all, it takes my page break between J and K and puts it all the way out to between M and N. Of course, when I scroll down, the orientation means it's going to break earlier vertically, where it used to break a little bit later down here. So all I have to do to see what this looks like is go to my print preview. I can click on the office logo button or I could actually by now add it to my quick access toolbar or I can click on the expandable dialog box button here and click print preview. And see it adds everything in there and it gives me a little bit of extra space, doesn't it? But it breaks early horizontally because the orientation is set so it allows me to add more columns here vertically. So I go to the next page and it looks pretty good going to close out and if I need to change it back we'll watch what happens let me click and drag up at the top change it back to its default setting portrait and then my page break is back to where it was before so when I go to the expandable dialog box and click print preview it's breaking early how many pages do I have here it's one of four because the next page I go to is going to be the remainder but the other pages that were cut off are going to be pages three and four and I don't like that so I'm going to close out of that and hit undo a couple of times and hit the escape key to get rid of the marching ants. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.